Cat flu. It's more than just a simple cold for our feline companions. It might sound like a harmless cold, but don't let the name fool you. Cat flu can be quite serious. This highly contagious upper respiratory infection can make our feline friends seriously ill, causing them significant discomfort and distress. Just like the human flu, cat flu is a virus that spreads quickly. It can easily pass from one cat to another, especially in environments where multiple cats are in close contact. It affects cats of all breeds and ages, from playful kittens to older, more vulnerable cats. Understanding cat flu is vital for every cat owner. Knowledge is power when it comes to protecting our pets. We need to know how to protect our furry companions from this potentially dangerous illness. This includes recognizing the symptoms early and seeking prompt veterinary care. This essay will guide you through everything you need to know about cat flu. We'll provide detailed information to help you understand and manage this condition. From the common causes to the telltale symptoms, we'll cover it all. You'll learn what to look out for and when to take action. We'll explore how veterinarians diagnose this sneaky virus and delve into the treatment options available. Knowing the right steps can make a big difference in your cat's recovery. Prevention is always better than cure, so we'll equip you with practical tips to keep your cat flu-free. This includes maintaining a clean environment and ensuring your cat is vaccinated. Remember, being informed is the first step towards safeguarding your beloved cat's health and well-being. A healthy cat is a happy cat, and with the right knowledge, you can ensure your feline friend stays in the best of health. The main culprits behind cat flu are two tiny yet powerful viruses, feline herpes virus, also known as FHV, and feline calicivirus, or FCV. These viruses are highly contagious and can spread rapidly among cats. Imagine them like microscopic ninjas lurking in the shadows, waiting to strike. Direct contact with an infected cat is the most common route of transmission. But here's the catch. These viruses can also survive on surfaces. Food bowls, toys, even our clothes can harbor these invisible enemies. An unsuspecting cat can pick up the virus just by touching a contaminated object. That's why it's crucial to maintain good hygiene and isolate infected cats to prevent the spread of these sneaky viruses. Remember, knowledge is power in the fight against cat flu. Cat flu can manifest in various ways, making it a master of disguise. It can be tricky to identify because the symptoms can vary greatly from one cat to another. Some cats may only experience mild symptoms, such as a slight cough or a bit of sneezing, while others can become seriously ill, showing more severe signs of distress. The key is to be vigilant and recognize the warning signs early. Observing your cat closely can make a significant difference in their health and recovery. One of the most common symptoms is sneezing, often accompanied by a runny nose. This can be similar to a human cold but it's important to monitor the frequency and severity. Imagine your cat with a tiny handkerchief trying to wipe away those sniffles. It's a cute image, but it highlights the discomfort they might be feeling. Another telltale sign is conjunctivitis, an inflammation of the eyes that can cause redness, discharge and discomfort. This can make your cat's eyes look sore and irritated. Your cat's eyes might appear watery or have a sticky discharge. This can be quite uncomfortable for them and is a clear indicator that something is wrong. Loss of appetite is also a red flag. Cats are usually enthusiastic about their meals, so a sudden disinterest in food is concerning. If your cat suddenly turns their nose up at their favorite food, it's time to pay attention. This could be a sign that they are feeling unwell. Other symptoms include fever, lethargy, coughing, and mouth ulcers. These signs indicate that the flu is affecting your cat more severely, and they need medical attention. If you notice any of these signs, don't hesitate to contact your veterinarian immediately. Early intervention can make a big difference in your cat's recovery and overall health. Diagnosing cat flu starts with a trip to the veterinarian. The vet will act like a detective, carefully examining your cat and gathering clues. They'll ask about your cat's medical history and any recent exposure to other cats. A physical examination will help assess your cat's overall health and check for any visible signs of infection. In some cases, the vet may recommend further tests to confirm the diagnosis. These tests can help identify the specific virus involved, which can guide treatment decisions. Blood tests, for example, can detect antibodies to FHV or FCV, 
indicating exposure to the virus. Swabs from the eyes, nose or throat can also be collected and analysed to pinpoint the culprit behind the infection. Remember, early diagnosis and prompt treatment are essential for a speedy recovery. Section 5. Treatment Options – A Helping Paw for Your Cat Treating cat flu focuses on alleviating the symptoms and supporting your cat's immune system. This means taking a multifaceted approach to ensure your feline friend gets the best care possible. Think of it as providing the right tools and environment for your cat's body to fight off the virus. A cozy bed and a stress-free environment can make a significant difference. Antibiotics are ineffective against viruses, but your vet may prescribe them to prevent secondary bacterial infections. This is crucial because secondary infections can complicate the recovery process. Just like we take medicine to feel better, medication can help ease your cat's discomfort. Always follow your vet's instructions carefully when administering any medication. Eye drops or ointments can soothe irritated eyes, which are common symptoms of cat flu. These treatments can provide much needed relief for your pet, while pain relievers can reduce fever and inflammation. Pain management is an essential part of the treatment plan. Keeping your cat hydrated is crucial, especially if they have a fever or are reluctant to eat or drink. Dehydration can worsen their condition. Encourage fluid intake by providing fresh water or offering tempting broth. Sometimes flavored broths can entice a reluctant cat to drink more. Creating a comfortable and stress-free environment is equally important. Stress can weaken the immune system, so a calm setting is beneficial. A warm, quiet space where your cat can rest and recuperate can work wonders. Ensure they have a soft blanket and a peaceful area to help them recover faster. Section 6. Prevention. Your cat's best defense. Preventing cat flu is always preferable to treating it. It's like building a fortress around your cat, shielding them from those pesky viruses. Vaccination is the cornerstone of cat flu prevention. Vaccines work by introducing a weakened or inactive form of the virus to your cat's immune system. This training session prepares their immune system to recognize and fight off the real deal if they ever encounter it. Regular booster shots are essential to maintain immunity. Maintaining good hygiene is another crucial aspect of prevention. Regularly disinfecting your cat's food bowls, water bowls, and litter boxes can significantly reduce the risk of infection. Limiting exposure to other cats, especially those showing signs of illness, is also essential. Section 7. A Shared Responsibility – Protecting Our Feline Companions Protecting our feline companions from cat flu is a shared responsibility. It requires a combined effort from cat owners, veterinarians, and the community. As responsible cat owners, we need to prioritize our cat's health by ensuring they receive regular veterinary checkups and vaccinations. We must also be mindful of their environment and take steps to minimize the risk of infection. Veterinarians play a vital role in diagnosing, treating, and preventing cat flu. They provide expert guidance, administer vaccinations, and educate cat owners on best practices. The community can contribute by promoting responsible pet ownership, supporting animal shelters and rescue organizations, and raising awareness about cat flu and other infectious diseases. Together, we can create a safer and healthier environment for our beloved feline friends. Section 8. Understanding the importance of vaccinations. Vaccinations are not just about protecting individual cats, they also play a crucial role in safeguarding the entire feline population. When a significant portion of the cat population is vaccinated, it creates something called herd immunity. Herd immunity acts like a protective shield, making it difficult for the virus to spread. This is especially important for cats that are too young, too old, or have underlying health conditions that prevent them from being vaccinated. By vaccinating our cats, we're not just protecting them, but also contributing to the well-being of all cats in the community. Remember, vaccination is an act of love and responsibility that benefits both individual cats and the feline population as a whole. Section 9. Conclusion. Keeping our cats healthy and happy. Cat flu may be a common and potentially serious illness, but it's not insurmountable. By understanding the causes, recognizing the symptoms, and taking preventive measures, we can significantly reduce the risk of our cats contracting this pesky virus. Regular veterinary care, including vaccinations and checkups, is essential for maintaining our cats' health and well-being. Remember, prevention is always better than cure. By staying informed and taking proactive steps, we can ensure our feline companions live long, healthy, and happy lives. Let's work together to create a world where cat flu is a worry of the past. <laughs>